Many of you know that Seal is one of my favorite characters in Honkai Star Rail, and today we're going to be using her at her most powerful. I was able to get my hands on an E6 S5 maxed out Seela. Comparing it to my own, of course she's going to be a lot stronger because she's going to be having her signature weapon. With that said, I feel like my Seela build with around 55 crit rate and 190 crit damage is not too bad all things considered. If I had an S5 weapon on her, she would be a lot higher and maybe even higher than this. But with the E6 capability of this Scylla, she's gonna have a lot more to her playstyle than just these stats. So in the night, being at S5 is going to give her a massive amount of crit rate. 30% on top of it is really, really good. The free-to-play weapon that I used from Simulated Universe only gives me up to like 16%, which is not bad. It's half this pretty much, but 30% is really good. And the secondary effects are really nice as well. For every Tim speed that she gets above 100, so in the case of this Seela, she has 140, she will be getting an increase of basic attack and skill damage, so by 10%, so 40% on top of that and if I'm not wrong her ultimate is going to be increased by 20 so multiply that by the four that's 80% extra crit damage that is insanely strong the traces are maxed out and I'm a little jelly about this because even I don't have them maxed out and without having any Eidolons for her I'm not going to ever get them this high but E6 of course the Eidolons do add extra damage to her but I think they actually just make her more fun to use E1 gives her an additional 15% crit rate to anybody below 80 so right now at 7 75, she's gonna be at 90% crit rate which is really good her second island gives her a speed boost which is nice especially for her attacking multiple times and then e4 regenerates 15 energy whenever you defeat an enemy so she could technically get up to 45 energy in one turn if you use her e kill an enemy pop her ult and then still have her e again after that that's 45 energy which is really good it can go a long way to getting her ult back up but if you just use your e twice then 30 energy if she doesn't have her ult yet is still pretty good and then her E6, of course, one of the strongest ones. After using her ult, it applies an effect on top of them, which does additional quantum damage, which is really nice, especially if they are quantum weakness. This would be really good to use on them. And I'm jealous that I don't have any of these Eidolons for one of my favorite characters. Honestly, I would be fine with just the E1. Once they're up below 80%, you're pretty much almost at 100% crit rate with this build. So I would definitely want her E1 and probably her E2 to be a little bit faster. Now, because this isn't my seal, we are a little bit limited in our testing but just like i did with blade we're definitely going to test her out and see if she can do some big damage so if you follow me on twitter you'll know one of my favorite things to do when grinding out in the overworld especially this boss which is for imbiber de lune if you guys still have not got his materials and you have a team like mine this is the way i definitely recommend it so i'm going to share this with you guys so i start the battle with yukong's e to go ahead and get the buffs going then i'll pop her ult followed up with Bronya's ult and because my Yukong is so fast I actually get to use her for one more turn after this which is pretty good and then I'll go ahead and attack this enemy with Sila to get the buff from killing an enemy and now we can go ahead and pop Sila's ult and there we go that enemy got one shot and then we can kill this one too so that's just something i really love to do with Sila with bronya and yukong you can immediately finish this boss fight and get all the materials that you need without even taking any damage and this is just something i love to do with Sila in general i'm going to compare this with the support Sila. now unfortunately you're not able to get a support ult up before going into battle so what i'm going to do is i'm going to follow up with the same strategy pop yukong and then bronya's and then i'm actually interested in seeing wow 102 and 311 i'm giving her 49 crit damage and 46 percent of attack from my Bronya, and then my Yukong is giving her 70, 27 crit rate, and 61 crit damage. Wow, that is a lot. And now I'll go ahead and pop my E on this enemy, and I, I have a feeling it's not going to one-shot without the ult, but this should do a lot. Wow, it nearly one-shotted just like that. That is incredible. Wow, this Sila is so strong. Now, another thing to take into consideration too is now her speed is going to be boosted as well because of the Eidolon that she'll have. All right, now we can pop her ult. We're not gonna have all the buffs that I just had. It has to be extremely strong. Now she's at 75, 200. This is without the buffs. So saying I do crit, this should do a lot, even without the quantum weakness. Yeah, 174. Jeez, this Sila is cracked. 
Now, suffice to say, I am a little jelly that my Sila doesn't hit as hard as that one casually, but you know, we're gonna see just how high I can actually push it. Now, I personally enjoy using Yu Kong with Sila more than Ting Yun, but that's also because I have her built up better than I do my Ting Yun. But I also think that the buffs that Yu Kong applies is just a lot more meaningful for Sila with the crit rate and the crit damage. All right, let's go ahead and see this. So I'm gonna pop Yu Kong, follow up with Bronya, and then because it's almost killed, we can actually get the buff from Sila afterwards or actually I can just kill off with you Kong that's fine too I guess so let's see how much Sila's ult is gonna do here and of course I will have the same amount of buffs that I had earlier which is very very good 4,000 attack over 300 crit damage 102 crit rate all right this is gonna do a lot almost 2 million damage wow that hit really hard 403,000 with her Q. So yeah, obviously Seela is one of the strongest hunt DPS characters in Honkai Star Rail, and I can't wait to see what other ones we get like her in the future, and using her at her most busted capabilities was definitely a lot of fun for me. I'm glad as a free-to-play player I'm able to use powerful supports that allow me to reach the upper limits of characters that I love, but let me know what you guys thought of this. Obviously Seela is a monster with quantum damage, and once you have her at her fullest potential, she's just gonna be stomping on everything in the game. Yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching and i will see you all in the next video